high it's day three at the Max Air Show 2017 and I'm here today on the Iranian Pavilion for a special focus on the country's new technologies. My name is Fomerini, the Deputy of General Manager in Commercial and Economical of IHSRC, uh, Iran Helicopter Support and Renewable Company. It means that all the matters in helicopters related in helicopters uh, is uh, in doing in our company as a matter of design, uh, manufacturing and uh, the maintenance of helicopter. And uh, nowadays, uh, for fulfilling our requirements in our company, uh, we have uh, designed and produced uh, uh, three kinds of helicopter, which you can see two of them here. One of them is uh, Sorena, is one of the ancient soldiers of Iranians. Uh, I mean the name of it. And uh, it is a four passenger helicopter. Uh, it has uh, his flights in 2016 and now we are doing and we are trying to get the certifications of the YASA and uh, it's still on the, under the test procedures. And another uh, product of our company which our president came and uh, saw it, it's Sabah 248. Sabah is a, a kind of wind actually and the two uh, means it has two engines, four it means that it has four blades and eight passenger. Uh, this is one of the demands of our company. We need at least, as I estimated, near between 200 and 300 of these helicopters for emergency service, services, for search and rescue, and for oil and gas transportation, passenger transportations in oil and gas. Uh, and uh, because of this, we started to design this helicopter. Now, in 2016, against this helicopter had flight. Something that I want to add to these the things is that our president came uh, three months ago for inauguration of this product. This is a national product and it is very important to us. You know, our company has 50 years experience in aviation industry, especially in the helicopter field. But, uh, uh, but uh, we, our most experience was in the uh, maintenance of helicopter. You know, we have the uh, uh, more than 1,000 helicopter in our company, in, in our country and the uh, responsibility of overhaul of all of these helicopters was for uh, our, our company and uh, because of our demands of our, our country uh, and we wanted to fulfill our requirements we started to design a new helicopter and manufacture it. This aircraft is fully made by, by Iran Aviation Industries Organization. This is a trainer. At the request of our Air Force, we, we are going to manufacture it. The first aircraft uh, is made. It, it, we, we did the celebration, rollout celebration of this aircraft. Nowadays, it is going to pass the ground tests. I think it would take around about 10 months. After 10 months, after passing the ground test, it would go to flight test. We uh, foreseen around about two years later, these can be delivered to, to our Air Force. Around about 50, they have already ordered uh, and we are uh, doing to manufacture all for our Air Force. It can be, uh, you know, uh, compared with uh, uh, F5-E it can be compared with it, but more capability and performances. You know, there is a lot of advantages. This engine we manufacturing ourselves. This is the engine, the uh, J90, J90. The engine also is Iranian made, 
and the aircraft itself, Iranian made, even the component, everything. This is Sadid bomb. This is a bomb, air to surface, air to ground bomb. It can be released. The total weight is 35 kilo because the light weight in, it can be installed on UAVs and it can be released from the UAV to the ground. Uh, around about four kilometers, it can be glide and go to the target. Mostly, we manufacture it for our UAVs to release it from our UAVs. You know, over there we have the UAVs that can release the, this such this bomb, like Charar. I am Bijan Bonaktar, uh, Director General of Iran Air Show, which every two years uh, is holding in Kish Island in the Persian Gulf. Uh, fortunately, we are going to hold the ninth edition of the Iran Air Show uh, uh, in October 2018. Uh, fortunately, after the signing of the JCPOA and lifting the sanction. Uh, there is a great, uh, I mean, opportunity for the companies to come to Iran, for in order to cooperate in the field of aviation, aerospace industry, and we are going also to uh, just uh, to cover and uh, to just uh, uh, to modernize the Iranian national fleet. So, I think for the next decade, Iran would need for more than 500 aircrafts, passenger aircraft in different size. So that would be a great idea for the companies to take uh, part in this exhibition to cooperate uh, in Iranian aviation uh, industry. So we would like to invite all the companies from Europe, from uh, uh, around the world, uh, in order to just uh, start a, such a good cooperation in different fields of aviation, in the field of the I mean, uh, airport handling in, for, in field of airport development, uh, modernizing the airports and facilities, uh, all the things. I think Iran also is very capable to uh, have the good knowledge in different, in different fields of uh, aerospace industry. And we have so fortunately, we have a very uh, intelligent people. Uh, although during the sanction, we succeed in so many fields of activities, in, especially in the field of aviation and aerospace industry.